Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Boy, they're really a rockin' today there in the Caribbean. Most of the earthquakes have been around Puerto Rico. Nine earthquakes so far today, 36 within the last week. The largest earthquake so far today has been a magnitude 4.0. There was two magnitude 3.8. I spent the day mostly drawing out, updating all the different large earthquakes with tsunamis. Here we got 1907, a magnitude uh, 6.2. 1770, a 7.5. Uh, close to that same location, yeah, 2010. Magnitude 7.0. The earthquake in 2010 uh, had a small tsunami that reached all the way to New Jersey. Atlantic City and of course Florida let's see we got here 1876 a magnitude 7.5 1946 and 8.1 those are all the ones so far that I've drawn out that have had tsunamis I'm going to start drawing out here different large earthquakes um, they really don't know if there was tsunamis or not but uh, example Cuba um, 1551 there was a magnitude 6.6 .6. I would think that that probably did create a tsunami 1932 a 6.7 that one too probably created a tsunami Puerto Rico has a large share of earthquakes with tsunamis and that's this location right here in the last week just around Puerto Rico there's been 20 earthquakes the largest being a magnitude 3.4. Uh, that one was yesterday. Earthquakes in Puerto Rico are primarily caused by the island's location near the bottom of two major tectonic plates. The North American plate, which is to the north, and the Caribbean plate, which is down over here. Puerto Rico's getting crushed between the battle of the two plates. The North American plate is slowly being pushed under the Caribbean plate in a process known as subduction. This causes a lot of tectonic stress and is released by earthquakes. There's also a lot of lateral movement between the plates, particularly there by the uh, Great Northern Puerto Rico Fault Trench Zone, which is up over here. The Puerto Rico Trench is an underwater trench located to the north of the island, marking the boundary between the two plates, and is one of the deepest parts of the Atlantic Ocean. The tectonic stress from this trench is another major cause of seismic activity. I've talked about this area in past videos. For those of you that might be new, you probably uh, don't know about these large earthquakes and um, the destruction that it did for Port-au-Prince, for example. In 1692, there was a magnitude 7.5 earthquake that occurred off of the southeastern coast of Jamaica. Uh, let's see, and that would be over here. Right there. It That earthquake and tsunami pretty well destroyed Port-au-Prince. The ground turned to quicksand and people were killed by sinking into, uh, yeah, the beaches all the way up to their necks. And a lot of boats were destroyed. A lot of the city was destroyed by the subsequent tsunami. Can you imagine sinking into the sand up to your neck and then, yeah, suffocating, being crushed? I don't think I have it marked here, but in 1770 there was a magnitude 7.5 oh i do right there in 1907 they call it the kingston earthquake it nearly damaged all the buildings in kingston jamaica and i'll bring that out that's over here which i i don't have it drawn i still have a lot of earthquakes that i have to put in this location there is so many destructive earthquakes and tsunami um, that happened in this area. It's just amazing. Many of you probably remember the earthquake that occurred in 2010 
and all the aid that was sent there but never arrived in all the political controversy about that earthquake and the missing children. I really don't think that the island has recovered since that earthquake. There is often very short notice of a large earthquake that um, happens and basically all people can do is evacuate straight up. Because um, Puerto Rico is a very mountainous area, most of the habitation is along the coast. Uh, very little habitation inland. So you're going to have to hope that your structure, if you do have a structure, um, that you can climb up in after a large earthquake and tsunami um, is strong enough to stand after the earthquake where you could be protected with the coming tsunami. Large and moderate earthquakes can create underwater landslides. So it doesn't really have to be a large earthquake that would create a tsunami. In the last month, there's been 119 earthquakes. Most of them off the uh, southern western side. You can see that right here. The most recent was a magnitude. It will work for me. Let's see. That is a 2.9, 16.2 kilometers in depth. Or about 10 miles. Yeah, if I lived over here on the southern side of uh, Puerto Rico, I'd be really concerned. I would definitely be earthquake prepared. I hope you're earthquake prepared. Um, are you earthquake prepared? Do you have a plan to evacuate either to higher ground or straight up? Uh, do you have your different furniture bolted down? What was the last large earthquake that you may have felt there? Was it the 2010 7.0? Yeah, sending prayers to you guys. Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.